Hey everyone and welcome back to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida and here at the Cove we do business, budgeting, finances, planning, anything business planning related you can find it here. So you guys let's jump in. So first I was just going to do my regular plan with me for the week which I'm still going to do but we're in a new month and currently I'm in love, in love with this pad from Cloth and Paper. So as you can see on the pad, I have mapped out my whole month. I've been waiting on this pad because I like to kind of pre-plan. I need a bird's eye view of the month. So this is how I'm using the pad. I'm using the pad to create um, quarterly content for my YouTube channel and for my business. I'm also using it to map out release dates, all that great stuff. But basically it is for my business. Um, content emails, you, I consider YouTube as a business, well, at least a portion of my business. So I include YouTube, I include my email subscribers, I include, include business stuff, all that will be mapped out here on this calendar. Also, you guys, let me show you. Coming to the shop this Friday, November the 6th, um, I have new inserts coming, okay? Um, there's been a couple of rough drafts, but this is the final draft with draft, which is monthly brain dumps. I need this. I need this and I need it in my planner. I can't take this whole pad all around the house or outside of the house with me. So I created this monthly brain dump um, insert that you can put in your planner. That way you can look at what your goals are for the month. What are your important tasks for the month? What are dates to remember? And it's kind of outside of your calendar. So basically you can take things from your calendar and you can have it here in your insert or you can either just put it in your monthly, but this is what I decided to do for me and I figured someone else may need this. So what I'm going to do is pull out this insert. I'm going to get my, um, I don't think I have a twelve. Yeah, excuse me. And then, this is just for every day, but I like to put some things from my business on here as well. So we're kind of planning for the month. So I have these, and these things are covered up, the little uh, strips you see here, they're covered up because that's kind of top secret <laughs> information that I only share with my uh, Facebook group. If you're not a part of my Facebook group, do me a favor, go down in the um, description bar, you can find out um, and get easily to my Facebook group. That's some information that I'm just solely sharing with them. And some of this is covered up that they don't know yet, but they'll know soon enough. So let's set that aside. I have the calendar over here and I'm gonna start with my brain dump. So this is for the month of November. Now, this is very minimal. I'll just warn you, it's very minimal. I don't really need to use stickers for this. That was not the purpose of this. It was just to kind of be um, functional and straight to the point. I did the calendar here at the top so that you can highlight important dates. So you can highlight these with stickers or dots. I'm using some of my stickers and these are just for me. They were like, oops, and I just like to use them. So if you wanna highlight important days, like the 11th is my mom's birthday. So I can highlight that. So you can see it there and it fits inside the box. And those are our teeny stickers. So I'm gonna put here the 11th, mom's birthday. And then the third is election day. Twenty-six is Thanksgiving. And any important dates that you need to remember, you can put those there. Let's say you have an important bill that is due and that you do not want to forget. And that's a certain bill that you don't want to forget. So you can put that there in this um, section here of dates to remember. Important task for the month. For me, that I need to get my oil changed. That is the number one uh, task for me. Now, referring back to 
my pad here. Um, I know that on Dicks to Remember, the six is new releases. Now this will go into my everyday carry, but it will come in every size. So if you wanted this in your business planner, you can have it in your business planner, everyday carry or whatever, and use it for however that you want. Um, important task this month is uh, Black Friday for me. Um, Black Friday sale. Okay. Now, I kind of skipped over goals because I really want to spend a little more time on talking about goals. I set every month I put out a goal and I mainly use numbers. I know what those numbers mean to me. Um, everyone may have a different type of goal. Let's say you want to lose 10 pounds for the month. Lose 10 pounds. You can put that there. For me, I'm going to put down my numbers that I do want to lose 10 pounds. I really want to lose more than that. <laughs> but that was just an example. And sometimes 10 pounds is good. You know, you don't need to lose any more. But for me, I'm going to put down my numbers. So these are goal numbers for me. <clears throat> they're not all related to cash or anything like that. They're just numbers that I keep in my mind and I know what they are. I can later on fill in the part that these numbers go to. So that was how we're gonna do our monthly brain dump. That's how I monthly, <laughs> excuse me, mainly do my monthly brain dump. And then as you do those things, you check them off. I just believe in having goals and seeing your goals on a consistent basis because the more you see the goals, the more you're gonna either do um, actions to achieve those goals. You're gonna constantly be reminded of your goals so that you can stay focused and on your goals and achieve your goals. Again, these are dates to remember, important tasks, and I just thought of one. And any, again, anything that you need to highlight with maybe a teeny sticker, you can use that. And then you can highlight those dates that are important to you. So now we have our monthly brain dump and then this will come front and back. Okay. Let's get into our monthly. Again, what I normally do is put those goals over here. I do sell goal stickers, but I'm just going to write it out here. So the first thing I like to start with is my um, numbers. Again, these numbers mean something to me. I like to just see them. I know what they mean. And one of these numbers change on a consistent basis um, from month to month, just depending. And then um, some of them basically stays the same. So we know election day is Tuesday. That wasn't included on the calendar. Um, I'm gonna do a podcast. My podcast actually comes out. And that is on my calendar, I think it was. New releases come out on Friday. My mom's birthday is on Veterans Day. Thanksgiving highlighted. Um, any important things? I need to get my oil changed, so I'm going to look to do that on Monday. Okay, because that is very important. Uh, podcasting, podcast, podcast. Also, if you've never listened to my podcast, that should be listed in the description box. If not, it's listed on my Instagram where you can find me at Norris Cove. Um, I'll save like my um, design days, email days, things like that for the calendar and for my business calendar. But podcasts, I like to list it and see it in my everyday carry because I need to see it in several places so I can be reminded. Um, but so far, that's what I have. I'm trying to think, I feel like there's something I'm missing. And as usual, and when things come up, I will 
um, list them on my calendar. Um, I like to put my bills here, just the main ones on my everyday carry, um, which is my car note, which is due on my mom's birthday. And then the 20th. Like and sometimes I'll even add the small things because I have a hard time of remembering those. Um, so my main things is car note, car insurance, um, credit cards, which are Barclays, Citibank, and then Capital One here on the 15th. And then I think my Wayfair is due on the 2nd. I'm not for sure. And then today is the first, and I think Amazon comes out. And then I have a fee. So right now, that's just the nitty gritty. Um, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I use stickers mainly here to show you guys, like, um, different ways that you could decorate your planner without, you know, leaving it too dry. So I'm going to add just a few little stickers. Okay, and so that it's not too, too dry, um, <laughs> I'm using some icon stickers from my shop, and I'm just going to put down for my credit card. Um, I really like just... Um, icons and I have some gift boxes here and I'm gonna use that for my mom's birthday there and I had thought I made some podcast stickers but I think that's what I'm going to do um, and then here this is from uh, the giving girl love her stickers um, this is like a laptop I'm just gonna use that. I wish I had plenty, so I'll just use those on podcast days. How cute are those? And it'll just give my uh, planner just a little color. So now that we have those in, um, I'm gonna use this Builder sticker by her, and I'm gonna put it here under build, under Capital One and just put Build Do. And then I have this sheet here from Anika over at Anika Creative uh, Closet. I'm gonna use these eyeglasses. Y'all know I love me some eyeglasses. And I'm just gonna put them at the top of November. I'm going to use this planner and it is perfect because it's small enough <laughs> to fit in the box. And I'm gonna put that down here on the 30th because I will be planning for next month. I'm trying to see what else I can get in here that's not too big that'll fit. Yeah. I'll use these little slippers and just kind of put those over here in the corner. I'm just looking for small, um, artwork that'll fit in and give me a little well, balance so that's that that's good so now we have a little bit of something extra in my planner that is just not too too bare for those who like to see something but for real I could just leave it bare and it wouldn't bother me at all so let's snap these back in so my November is ready you guys I love a monthly calendar um i was designing some monthly inserts i'm still tweaking them but i really just like um cloth and papers you know so i don't know i don't know what it is and then so we're gonna put in our monthly brain dump i think that's in the back i need to put like a sticker on it so i can keep up with it yeah, so I did a little bit just to play it out with October. And then as you can see in October, it well, when I first designed it, I designed it to be just a little different, but I decided I just wanted it kind of plain. 
and legible. So that's that. So that is all that I have for today for my monthly process of planning. Um, indeed, I love this pad. So that's all that I have for my monthly process of my monthly planning. I started on this pad as soon as I got it because I knew I needed this for my business and just everyday life, but I'll use one. I have two of them, so I'll use one for like planning the business. I'm actually going to just take some out and stick them up for each month and each quarter. That way I can go directly to it and put it up on like a post-it board. And then um, again, one for like personal. So that is my monthly planning process at the moment. You guys know it changed, but as it changes, I will update you. Um, I just want to say thank you all for stopping by. If you're new to my channel and you've never been here before, you've never seen any videos from me and you enjoy today's content and you would love to see more for myself, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.